here in Florida, we have a lot of invasive species. And you're probably wondering, you want a man, what's an invasive species? It's real simple, guys. It's an exotic, non-native animal that lives in an area where it's not natively from, and they populate, and they either are a pest or they cause damage. We're with our friend Lauren. What's up, Lauren? What's up? How are you? We got our buddy Good. Rambo right yeah. here. <laughs> and today, we're actually gonna be going to two jobs, all right? We're gonna explain to you guys about these jobs. One job, giant orange iguana. Yep, Charizards. So iguanas, uh, they puncture seawalls, they tear up sidewalks, and they carry a lot of salmonella. They can burrow up to six feet underground to lay their eggs, uh, and that can cause soil erosion and banks to collapse. Oh. And get this, last year, these pesky reptiles were blamed for digging under the foundation of a restaurant near Miami, causing over $50,000 in damage. $50,000? The big Charizards. That's a lot of coin and that's some big lizards to do that yeah. type of damage. If you could just do a quick Google search on Florida's invasive iguana problem, it would honestly answer a lot of questions or concerns that you might have. So it says at first when they were introduced here they were protected. She represents parts of the cities of Miami where people want permission to remove the birds. Mating season is when they get the most complaints because these birds, as you can see right there, they get very aggressive. It says our leader. And she added the birds would do things like damage cars with their beaks. Now neighbors, they often disagree on what to do with the peacocks. However, two years ago, people who lived in Miami neighborhoods have asked the leaders to remove large colonies of these birds. People enjoy them if they live in apartments. People hate them if they live in houses. Makes sense. According to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, the FWC, they are invasive species and they are not protected. Anyways, so guys, we actually just got a report of some peacocks in the neighborhood and we have authority to go up there, see if we can find these peacocks. And if so, we're gonna see if we can put them in the back. Yep. We are back. Check who we got in the back of the truck. Rambo machine. Got our friend Rambo, got our friend Lauren, and we just had some lunch. So right now we've feeling pretty good feeling pretty great here's what we just got a report of a big what is it an orange charizard yeah, big, or something uh, like that big giant orange charizard iguana we just pulled up to the spot rambo's kind of chilling lauren how you feeling about this feeling good we are what our first big alpha let's go see if we can put that charizard iguana in the bag ready boy you ready boy let's get him uh, yeah, from over there. Okay. We'll figure it out. All right, ready? Especially over here. Rambo here. See if we can put that Charizard in the bag. Get him, boy. Get it, get it, Rambo, get it. Get him, get him, boy. Get him, boy. Get him, boy. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Good boy. Go, come on. Go, boy. Check that out, guys. Rambo did an awesome job. Ouch. So, guys, who do you guys think Ouch. won in that battle? Rambo versus the iguana. Drop some comments and let me know. And look at that right there. Big, fat Charizard iguana. Damn. Good. Damn, he likes that one more. He likes it. Yeah, I think he's definitely learning a lot, you know? Oh, yeah. So I'm starting to feel really confident about, uh, you know, bringing him to certain spots. Obviously, we just want to make sure he's ready. All right. All right, so we got another iguana right here. Uh, decent sized. We're going to go for it. Have Rambo uh, get that big iguana. Yeah, it, it's like a female or something. It's like his girlfriend popped up. You know? I mean, that's an alpha right there. So, Rambo, wait. Boy. Here, bring it, let's go. Come on, Rambo. Oh, boy. <laughs> wow. Yeah. If, Else. if I would have known iguana hunting was this easy, I would have been had an iguana yeah, right? dog. Like a nest over here or something, Lauren. It's insane.
Got us a peacock. Wait, leave it, leave it. <laughs> In the back. Got us a peacock. In the back. Two, three, go. Peacock, we got this giant iguana right here. We're gonna go ahead. Um, I wanna touch it. Feels like a bird. Got big peacock. Like I said, what the report was, they were out here. So we're gonna go ahead and do a catch, clean, and cook on an iguana and a peacock. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and take the breast section off this peacock. We're gonna be right back. We're gonna do it off camera real quick. And uh, yep, and then we're gonna clean the iguana as well. So BRB, okay? Grill. Oh, you know. Looks uh, tenderizing. It does? Tenderizing and tenderizing, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you wash this for me? Yeah, we're gonna make a quick lunch. Cooking shell. There. Look at me right there. Yeah. Got our iguana meat and we got our peacock. Got some seasoning. Okay. Put it like that. gonna be like a Thai red curry. All right, yeah, I like Thai. We're gonna leave it for about a good 10-15 uh, minutes. We want it to be super soft. We want to make sure it's cooked all the way at at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Nothing underdone, okay? Patience, guys. This is this is the, the curry that I'm using, the, the Blue Elephant Royal Thai Cuisine red curry. Red chili, lime leaves, sweet basil leaves. Ready in five minutes, serves three. There's three of us, medium heat. Chef inspired, ready to cook. About 12 ounces of meat. We have about a pound, about a pound of meat, I'd say. Maybe a little bit more, but hey, we're gonna go ahead and stretch it. We'll be right back, all right? Oh man, that thing's been stewing. I would leave it on for a little bit longer. We do have some clouds. We do have a little yeah. turbulent weather coming, so. so some raindrop. Mm, look at that iguana peacock curry. Yum, 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 yum. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, just kind of like chewy and kind of like tough a little bit. Texture, eh, maybe there's a different way to cook it. That iguana, though. It's like softer. Super soft? Yeah. Check this out. Look at that. Look, check it out. It falls right off the bone. Hmm. What do you think about the spice? A little spicy? Oh, yeah, it's a little spicy. <laughs> There it goes right there. I guess it's like a turkey or like an ostrich meat kind of ish, right? It's kind of like turkey. Kind of like turkey, right? Mm. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's just a little, uh, a little tough. Guys, we're gonna wrap it up right here. <laughs> We're actually about to get rained on. We're gonna finish this out. We're gonna jump in the truck. We gotta head on out. Hunt was great. Got a lot of guanas. We did good. Definitely did really, really good. Guys, we're gonna have to cut the video here. It's about to start storming. <laughs>
It's Steve Wonderman signing out. We will see you guys on the next video. Like, comment, hit the red subscribe. Long day. Get used to it, Rambo. Because Wanna season is among us, my friend. Yeah, it's building up that stamina. Yep, get used to it, buddy. Silly dog. They never learn. Hey, such a successful day. Shout Reaper. out to Rambo. Shout out to Lauren. For taking us out here, helping us out. Lauren, um, I know a lot of people have been actually asking about you, follow you and Rambo, you know? A lot of people have been messaging me. But uh, what's the best way people could like follow you on social media, right? Yeah, through my Instagram is the best way to follow us and get us updates and get updates of Rambo. If there's anything that you guys want to help support Rambo, like maybe some accessories or whatever, you know, like, reach out to her just follow her on Instagram and then maybe you can send something and then maybe it can be on a video you know yeah right here this is Reaper she's Aww. a uh, four month old Belgian Malinois oh, look at that what a cute little dog hunting family <laughs> for you you're not you didn't go hunting Reaper. her oh wow it's like a little honey badger look at her <laughs> like a little bear she's like oh. a little wolf cub yeah it's like Reaper. a little honey badger Reaper. all right Rambo <laughs> Oh, one second, buddy. Right here, I keep calling it turkey, but it's peacock, all right? It's all white meat. No. Reaper, 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 Reaper. No, no, no. Reaper. Look at these little hounds. These silly iguana dogs. <laughs> Tricks are for kids. Rambo. Peacock right Some there. Some phantom. Sit. It's pretty. Stand up, back. Stand up. Jump. Ooh. Boy, Rambo. You want a dog? Oh! Ready? Get up! Get up! Super! Boy. Excellent, Rambo. Rambo, I gotta hit the nice road. Nice seeing you. Next job, I'm gonna let you guys know. All right, all right. Rambo. Good boy. You're a good boy, all right. <laughs> You're a good boy, all right. Guys, we're gonna wrap the video here. We gotta, we got a long ways back. Um. Yeah, just stay tuned for updates. If you guys want to see any, if you guys have any accessories or any ideas, hit her up, let her know. If you guys want to see any uh, accessories used with Rambo, any maybe a, like a guard or goggles or whatever you think might work or help, guys. Because we are training both of these dogs right now, all right? Just hit her up, let her know. Uh, it's the Iguana Man signing out, Lauren. Catch you on the flip side. Bye. Bye, Rambo.